What's going on guys, it's the Skylander Dude, and all these Skytubers that you know and love have their secrets that they're hiding. It seems I'm the only one brave enough to sit here and call them out, so it's time to expose the truth about these creators. First up, Skylander Gamer TV. SGTV is the king of video essay styled Skylanders content. It's not uncommon to see him pump out a video that's thoroughly edited and longer than 30 minutes. So what's the deal? Come on guys. Are we seriously going to believe he's so passionate and dedicated to creating content that he'd spend months constructing and editing these videos? No way. Let me direct you to a key point in SGTV history, his face reveal. Up until July of 2022, Skylander Gamer TV would consistently disguise his face when appearing in videos. It wasn't until his Skylanders overrated or underrated video where he allegedly revealed his face. Now I don't believe SGTV is a solo project, and I don't believe that person uncovered in his face reveal is the only one working on this channel. In this video, multiple other gamer TV personalities are literally seen on screen at the same time. Some may argue this is just a complex editing technique, but I don't think so. Think about it, that first face reveal was planned to avoid any suspicion of the truth. I think SGTV is made up of a secretive team with the goal to further popularize the Skylanders franchise. And what team of people would care to do so? Well, look no further than Activision themselves. That's right, Skylander Gamer TV is Activision. Exposed. Crash the Skylands. Crash has been posting on YouTube for over a decade and has more than a thousand Skylanders specific videos. He breaks down characters in game to properly review their moveset or rank them amongst others. When he's not researching, he's adding to his numerous gameplay series. This man is continuously challenging himself both inside the game and with his consistency. Up until recently. Earlier this year, Crash the Skylands announced he'd be taking a step back from the platform and semi-retire. Now he's claiming to spend more time in the real world and casually upload some high quality content here and there. Seems kind of random if you ask me. I mean, the real world? His future? <laughs> That's not nearly important as talking about Skylanders. Something fishy is definitely going on here. Crash was posting so much content regularly. Maybe too much. Here's what I'm thinking. Other creators were so jealous of all the time he spends in the spotlight that they joined together to take him down. Yep, that's right. I'm saying these guys joined forces to have paid off Crash the Skylands to stop creating content. Now Crash is left to create some sort of fake cover-up story as to where he'll be hiding. And without the competition, other creators are going to do everything they can to replace him. Little do they know, I'm coming for them too. Mykonoid While Mykonoid isn't exclusively a Skytuber, a good majority of his content revolves around Skylanders. He's got skits, video essays, unboxings, and more all pertain to the series. Skylanders related or not, all his videos are well edited, scripted, and professionally produced. Though he expresses his passion to the Skylanders franchise throughout his content, he's likely more recognized for the fact of owning an army of food fight figures. Now the most common reaction to this Garden of Skylanders is, why? Why does one person need so many of the same common figure? Sure, he created a few videos and live streams surrounding the toys, but really, I think he could care less about Food Fight. This whole ordeal has gone over everyone's head and nobody's stopping to see the bigger picture. This army of toys is simply a metaphor for his purpose of the channel. This army represents you guys, his fans, just like Food Fight. He's using you and the Skylanders name to boost his own popularity and push him into the filmmaking industry. Come on guys, it's literally right in front of our eyes. He's got editing skills, acting skills, writing skills, he's set. He just needs that push to break into Hollywood and he's using Food Fight as a symbol. You might be saying, what about his posts thanking his fans for all the support? And to that I say, uh, well, what if he was just joking? Ha, exposed. Ignite the Fire Ignite the Fire is the most dedicated Skytuber I know. From showcasing figures good and bad qualities to ranking every single Skylanders character multiple times, Ignite is clearly well versed in every aspect of the games. He's not just knowledgeable about the characters though, he is somehow still finding new and innovative ways to play through the Skylanders games. I mean he's consistently creating his own rules outside of the standard lock run through. For example, recently on his channel, he beat a Skylanders level while completely blindfolded. No, I'm not kidding. From start to finish, Ignite didn't see a thing that was happening in the game. And yet, he still fully progressed through the level. Now this might seem crazy on the outside, but really, he's exposing himself here. Now I'm not doubting that he beat this level while blindfolded. In fact, I think it only helped him. I'm calling out Ignite the Fire for secretly having superpowers. Yes, 
And I have proof. Look at his face cam throughout this video. Notice anything missing? It's quite the coincidence that while he is blindfolded, he's not actually showing his controller. Why, you might ask? Well, because he doesn't even need it. Ladies and gentlemen, Ignite the Fire has telekinesis. Utilizing his power to control the game within his mind, matched with his advanced hearing, really made this gameplay a cakewalk for him. I mean, dude, you walked right into this one. Turns out you're not as impressive as we once thought. Saving Skylands. Saving Skylands has only been around these parts for a couple of years, but I believe he's already caught himself in quite the controversy. He generally makes videos revolving around Skylanders hunting, unboxings, or rankings. While his interest for the franchise has been reignited semi-recently, he's already expanded his collection exponentially. He has a nice display and some rare pieces which are often shown off in his shorter form content. But one thing he seems to discuss quite frequently are villains in the Skylanders franchise. I mean, some of his most viewed videos are about villains or their theme songs. So why is it a guy called Saving Skylands is so infatuated with the game's villains? Well, the name, Saving Skylands, what could that entail? Skylands hasn't been hit with any evil in quite some time. What could he be doing to save Skylands if it doesn't need saving? Unless he's trying to distract us. Guys, his name, love for villains, I think it's pretty obvious Victor is actually chaos. I even caught him saying this. What do you want to see from a Skylander 7 if, if we ever get it? Um, totally original. Do not piggyback off of Chaos being the main villain anymore. We need something new. I don't care if you bring in Malfor, like, do something original. Huh. Don't want Chaos to return, do you? Or are you trying to get us to forget about him so you'll have a clean shot at Skylands because you are Chaos? Sorry, got me a little worked up over here. Just can't take any chances, you know? Cloudbreaker. Cloudbreaker is one of the most recent channels to pop up in this video. In just a few months, he's brought his channel to over 2,000 subscribers. That's nothing to gloss over. He often makes Skylanders discussion videos, as well as some gameplay in the mix. You might look at him as the new guy, but his content fits right in. Oh yeah, and one thing I forgot to mention. As of filming this, he uploads nearly every day. Daily YouTube videos are something you barely see from massive YouTubers. But for Skylanders? That's literally unheard of. Oh, and it doesn't end there. On top of his consistent uploads, he'll also livestream for hours on end. Yeah, this kid's the definition of the grind. I seriously wonder how he has so much creativity and time within a day. It's almost like he's a robot. Yeah, you see where this is going. Cloudbreaker is completely AI. This type of consistency couldn't possibly be human. I mean, how could someone produce this much content this fast? Now I know what you're gonna say. He's literally shown his face before in videos. But think of this, what if that's not his face? If this AI is advanced enough to pump out this much content, I believe it's possible this robot kidnapped some random human to front as Cloudbreaker on the channel. That just makes the most sense to me. Hopefully that guy can escape and find some freedom from the AI. William Edis. William Edis just looks like a wholesome dude. He's got videos about collecting, ranking, and will occasionally stream his lock series. You probably recognize him from his How Much Does It Cost to Complete Your Skylanders Collection Today video. If by some chance you haven't seen it, William breaks down how much it would cost to individually buy every non-variant figure used based on the current secondhand market. He then compares the value of each game to what it would have costed you back in the day at its original retail value. Definitely some interesting information to the average fan, but why do we think William made this video? As you're probably familiar with, Robo is the most expensive base Skylanders figure all fans are after. He's pricey, rare, and unlocks an entire level in Imaginators, so if you do own the figure, it's a nice piece to show off. Well, wouldn't you know, William Edis here does in fact own Robo. So why would he care about the figure's value if he's got some of the most expensive Skylanders in the series? Well, believe it or not, it's because he single-handedly controls the Skylanders market. I know crazy, but he's the one keeping tabs on the value of each and every character. Can I prove this? <laughs> Why, of course I can. Just, uh, not right now. So, boom. Exposed. Boombringer. If you're in the Skylanders community, you've probably seen a Boombringer video whether you realized it or not. Boombringer is well known for his Skylanders meme videos, and with so, has accumulated a large fan base around his channel. You've also might have seen his live streams where he often beats a full Skylanders game in a single sitting. He's got some well-crafted informational style videos in the mix as well, but a majority of his content is on the shorter side. 
Now in any other scenario, there'd be nothing wrong with that, but Boombringer has his secrets. With such a large portfolio of short comedic Skylanders content, Boombringer is gearing up for the business decision of a lifetime. It's no secret that the fans love his content, and he knows it. That's why Boombringer will prepare to take these short clips and lock them behind the blockchain as NFTs. Yes, he's joining the crypto space and Boom bringing his memes with him. It just makes sense. He's been preparing this shorter form content from the beginning so we can flip them into NFTs at a moment's notice. Don't say I didn't warn ya. Kalfuyama. Kalfuyama creates a range of Skylanders content. From rankings, discussions, gameplay, he's got it all. He has a super entertaining personality and is quite knowledgeable about the franchise. But he does kind of stick out amongst the rest of the creators here. Look at his channel. Notice anything? If not, I'll point out the elephant in the room. Nothing's in English. Kalfuyama strictly makes Skylanders content in Spanish. Yup, titles are in Spanish, thumbnails are in Spanish, he even speaks Spanish in the video. Can you believe this? How dare he globalize the Skylanders community and make content for non-English speakers? Imagine stumbling across his channel only to find yourself lost in a sea of Espanol, desperately trying to decipher the mysteries of his Skylanders discussions. I have only one thing left to say to you, Kalfuyama. Acabas de ser expresto. What the Skylanders. Steel and Emma make up the duo that is What the Skylanders. Their videos consist of completing their Skylanders collection by picking up some good deals on lots. Their collection spans from both sealed and loose figures, and they're always hunting for deals for more characters. Additionally, they'll occasionally show off some figures that they get signed by the voice actors. They have quite the impressive collection, and it's always interesting to hear more about the deals they come across. Sometimes it feels like they're just stealing these Skylanders. <laughs> or are they? That would explain their consistent influx of good deals, especially if they're just stealing them for free. Now I hate to make this connection, but it really only solidifies my thought process here. His name is literally Steel. It's like these Skytubers aren't even trying to hide it anymore. You can't hide your secrets from me. Skylandier. Skylandier has only been posting content for less than a year, but he already has some of the most professional looking Skylanders videos I've seen. He mainly posts tips for both collecting and playing Skylanders with the occasional live stream. His editing is super crisp, and it makes me wonder if these are truly his first videos. I mean, this stuff could easily be compared to Mr. Beast, especially if he is Mr. Beast. Now, here's what I'm alluding to. A common trend amongst larger YouTubers is going undercover to create a popular song, video, or in this case, Skylanders channel. I mean, I could see the title now. I went undercover as a Skytuber to prove people still care about this game. If that doesn't sound like a Mr. Beast video, I don't know what does. All I'm saying is it would be a lot easier to hire 10 editors to put together these videos than to actually put in the work to being a new Skytuber. So when you see that Mr. Beast video come out in a few months, don't say I didn't call it. SCL Matt. Matt is an OG creator with some of his original content dating back to nine years ago. He's been in the community for a lot longer, but posting videos for almost a decade is even more impressive. As of recently, Matt produces content revolving around his shop, collection, and road trip huntings. If you're unfamiliar, SCL Matt often travels across the states to pick up lots of Skylanders figures. He travels so much that he actually expanded his full YouTube handle to SCL Matt the Wandering Collector. <laughs> That's oddly specific. Like, to change your whole name just to make people aware of what you do? Must mean this is a pretty big deal. He's even got it in his channel banner with what I'm assuming is him wandering beneath it. But he's not just wandering anywhere. Dude's literally on Skyland. I'm no expert, but I didn't even know floating islands existed in real life. Does Matt know something we don't? Like, what if he's not just a wandering collector, but he's wandering to find the literal Skylands? He couldn't care about the mass-produced figures we have here on Earth. He's truly hunting to find the real creatures they were based off of. And to that I say, tell us the truth. If you know where Skylands is, don't just keep that to yourself. Actually, tell everyone except saving Skylands because he might be chaos. Crypt Crusher. Crypt Crusher has found tons of success through his rankings, but more importantly, his Basically series. In the series, Crypt does an in-depth analysis of a specific Skylander and gives it an overall rating out of 10. He breaks down the character's design, moveset, strength, and shares his opinion about the Skylander. He has a great sense of humor that makes these videos wildly entertaining. Additionally, Crypt beat every Skylanders game on the Wii and every game on Nightmare Mode for videos. The amount of torture he went through to create this content was concerning, so I looked into it. If you watch through any of Crypt Crusher's videos, there's one thing that stands out his relationship with his Skylanders. 
On one hand, he has a great time with some figures and rates them highly amongst the rest. On the other, he's often penalized by playing some of the hardest version of every game. It's pretty evident that he has an abusive relationship with Skylanders. Now, I'm no judge, so I won't sit here and take sides or say whether Crypt or his Skylanders are in the wrong. What I will say is his channel appears to be a cry for help. It's not unlikely that the Skylanders are controlling his life, and this channel is his only escape to the real world. Either way, sounds like something I don't want to get involved with, so I uh, wish you luck with that. As you can see, Skytubers aren't perfect. I've only called out a few in this video, but I'm sure there's more that need to be put in their place. Fortunately for them, I believe in second chances. Let's try to put this past behind us and do better as a community. Instead of reminding these creators of their wrongdoings, fill their comments with positive compliments that make them want to do better on their own. And hopefully, we'll see some change. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Peace.